Hi, welcome. My name is Michelle Montana. I'm an interior designer aspiring to be full-time while I work in TV and film. This is my interior design enthusiastic space. And today we are at my parents' house. So I thought that I would film something a little, a little simple, a little easy. My 2023 predictions for interior design trends. I'm gonna get right into it. I'm not gonna mess around here. The first thing that I think is going to be quite popular this year is implementing stripes. I think for a while people were really afraid of pattern and I think stripes are an easy way that you can start to implement pattern. This is not a suggestion. I mean, it could be, but I, could, I like stripes, but I just think that I'm seeing them filter their way in, especially red stripes, filter themselves in to interior design more and more. Um, I really like this just random pop in a shower as a, as a shower curtain. I think it's a simple way to add a little bit of something interesting into your bathroom if you have something just kind of minimal going on and it's something that is an easy way to introduce pattern without spending too much money or having to like change too much about your space. So I like this red shower curtain. <laughs> I also like this little bed spread at the end of the bed. I think that's a nice way too to incorporate a stripe because it's such a minimal stripe. It's not like a mattress ticking or something super heavy where it's like, this is stripes. It's just like a little subtle pop of color without adding too much. The room itself is, is stay, stays pretty neutral. That's like really the only color being added to this room. And then this is a little bit more of a, I guess, traditional stripe. This is like more of like a mattress ticking, which I personally love. I put them in my own home. I have my striped curtains in my living room. So this is just like a nice way to add a little bit of pattern. And again, it being in this like small kind of space, if you got sick of this after a few years, it'd be an easy swap. You're not, you know, doing an entire sofa if you're afraid of pattern in that way. But I personally love a sofa. Go for the striped sofa. I think this is so cute. You know, it, you could have a fairly neutral room and then just have this like crazy striped sofa and it just brings so much interest into the space. Another thing I'm predicting is blue. I think last year was a really big year for green. Green was kind of everywhere. I love green, I fell for the green. But I'm starting to see blue come back into interior design in like minimal touches. I like this kind of icy blue that's super minimal. I'm seeing it a lot in kitchens. I also like this just painting a door blue. It's a nice way to have a subtle pop of color without, you know, if you're afraid of color, it's a great way to introduce. And I do like this just kind of random blue door in an otherwise like unassuming space that's just fairly neutral in palette so doing something like that is a nice way to incorporate some color also painting your stair treads if that's something that's interesting to you but i'm just noticing more and more that light blue is making its way into interior design and so i do think it is going to be a trend for this year out the green and with the blue so one thing that I think um, is definitely going to come back for 2023 is Chrome. I think it's gonna be super trendy this year. I'm already seeing it kind of everywhere, not just with simple accent chairs or dining chairs, um, which I absolutely love, but I'm seeing it with lighting. I love this lamp from Ikea. I also think it's going to make its way back into bathrooms with faucets and things like that. I think that gold was really having a moment and I think chrome is starting to come back in a way that it's, it, it'll always be timeless of course, but I'm really liking seeing chrome accents in bathrooms like underneath sinks with faucets, shower heads, doorknobs. I think that chrome is definitely gonna come back this year in more ways than one, in lighting, furniture, you know, table legs, chair legs, and bathroom finishes. 
And isn't this image a perfect transition into my next prediction, which is Noguchi lamps or uh, paper lamps in general, but I definitely think the Noguchi ones because not only are they like beautiful lighting pieces, but also sculptural. Having this, I think specifically Noguchi is going to be a really big trend in lighting, whether it's one of these table lamps like this or these like blob ones. I've been seeing those a little bit more recently. I think this is done really well when it's the only paper lantern in the room. I don't think we should be going paper lantern crazy. I mean, be careful when you're participating in trends, but I do really love this. I think it's a really beautiful glow and lighting is so important in general that it's fun to have something a little bit more unexpected, a little more sculptural in your space. So I definitely see these becoming extremely popular in 2023. This might seem silly, but I think white rugs and checker rugs were having like such a moment that um, it was making me sad. <laughs> and I really think that Persian rugs are gonna make a huge comeback this year. I think it's gonna be, everyone's gonna be kind of going back to basics. And I think Persian rugs are definitely going to be one of those big things where everyone's gonna be looking for the perfect reddish Persian rug for their space to replace their, uh, you know, white shags or white and black checkered rugs. I like checkered and I, and I think it can be timeless. Maybe in a few years it's gonna go back to being timeless because it was such a trend that I think people kind of like took it and ran and it was everywhere. So I think something like this will just like absolutely never go out of style. And so I think people are gonna wanna go back to those kind of basics and um, yeah, put some more color back into their rooms. I'm encouraging this one. This one I'm, I'm seriously encouraging. I've already convinced my in-laws to get one for their living room. They had one of these just generic diamond striped Moroccan rugs and I, it was getting dingy anyways. So it was a good excuse for me to say, let's get rid of this trendy rug and put in something a little bit more stylish, a little bit more colorful, and something that you don't need to worry about getting dirty, like you can't see anything on these Persian rugs. If you spill on it, it only adds character. So I think um, this is definitely a prediction, but also I'm enforcing this prediction. Like please, everyone needs to go back to Persian rugs. Thank you, moving on. <laughs> okay. Little pops of color, I think, are definitely gonna be trendy in the sense that I know a lot of people have really white spaces and everyone's afraid of introducing color and this is such a good way to bring color into your space by just doing them in little accents, makes your room a little less boring. <laughs> like this is such a simple addition to an otherwise white space, having this just random green arched lamp coming from the wall. Again, very neutral space, but we just have this really beautiful lacquered green uh, desk, sofa table situation going on, which I love. Also, why not paint your white shelves red? You can always paint them white if you want to when you are sick of red, but why not put a little pop of color in your space and ditch the white for a little bit and add a little bit more color. I definitely see this becoming a little more trendy this year. Okay, this is a big category and it's kind of a spiraling category, but warm wood. I think blonde wood, really natural wood, like unstained wood was really popular for a while and I think we are a little bit sick of that. Everything's a little too bland. Also dark wood was pretty popular for a while too. I think that we're gonna get back into warmer toned woods, warm up our spaces a little bit, bring some color back in without being like scary too much. If you're afraid of color, this is a great way to introduce color without having anything super colorful. So um, warm wood furniture, warm wood with these chair accents. I love the arms of these chairs. Obviously you can't restain your floors necessarily, like that's too big of a task. But in this particular example, they're really warming up the space by having warm accents with their furniture and keeping that blonde wood. And I think it balances really nice and brings more 
warmth into the space. I'm gonna say warm 75 more times. Um, if you have natural plywood stairs, why not stain them in warm wood color? Warm wood paneling, something you can easily take down if you get sick of it, but I think you should put it up. <laughs> also, burl wood. I love burl wood and I have, I've been searching for something like, see the background of this? See in there? I've been searching for something like this for such a long time that I ended up with this in my living room, which I love and it's serving the purpose, but there will always be a, a void in my heart for a burl wood piece like this. I've been looking for so long. They're really expensive. Anyways, burl wood is definitely gonna be, it's already starting to come up and it's gonna be, I think, the biggest wood of 2023. But I hope that everyone proceeds with caution, knowing that this is a trend and we should not make everything in our homes burl wood. <laughs> I think a nice little accent like your coffee table or you know one nightstand, something simple or just like one, make it the one statement gorgeous piece on its own. Don't make everything in your house burl wood. I definitely think it's gonna be crazy popular this year. As well as I'm seeing a lot of mid-century modern pieces coming back large furniture pieces that are mid-century modern like this i love this as like a bedside situation but it's it could fit in so many scenarios in your home also this kind of entertainment cabinet we're gonna see a lot of mid-century modern this year it's definitely going to be really popular i think everyone's gonna be swapping out all their furniture for mid-century modern okay and last but not least in the warm wood or just wood comebacks in general i'm seeing some wood going on in the kitchen and I'm really liking it. Um, I think an easy way and a safe way to, if you're planning on redesigning your kitchen, just doing a butcher block countertop like this. You don't have to go for the all wood look if you don't want to, but it's, I think the butcher block countertop will always be kind of a timeless thing. Um, and this kind of darker stained wood countertop I think is beautiful and I like the contrast with the white cabinets. But anyways, I'm, I think wood is going to be a big part of our kitchens this year in this sort of minimal way where, you know, there's not too much going on with the cabinets and the countertops are wood, but it doesn't look overpowering or, or like too bold of a thing. Like this is really nice, just kind of like a craftsman nook in your kitchen. I definitely think wood is gonna be playing a big part in kitchen renovations this year. Last but not least, I think that bold, dark, small bathrooms are gonna be really trendy this year. I already did mine last year. This is what my bathroom looks like. If you wanna watch that video, you can watch it here. This is how I redid my bathroom. I did a bathroom makeover. I'm gonna be, I'm actually in the process of doing another bathroom makeover at my in-laws house. So that's gonna be a nice dark moody bathroom. I think when you have like, when you want your space to be calm and inviting and um, just relatively neutral, it's nice to have that bathroom that everyone wants to take selfies in at a restaurant in your home, if that makes sense. I think it's fun to have just like a random, like super bold bathroom like this. And when the rest of your house doesn't have to match that at all, like it's like the one space in your house where you can just like completely go crazy and do something like this. So those are my predictions of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you agree, disagree, have anything to add. Um, if you think I missed anything, let me know. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe and or watch something else. I have a lot coming up. In 2023, there's gonna be a lot of fun stuff, so you won't wanna miss it. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Love you, bye!